I used to watch her just to trigger my eating disorder. And with comments like this, you think I'm gonna stop making videos about Eugenia Cooney? Y'all got me f***ed up. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health, and I try to pull topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. But a big mission of mine as well is to increase awareness about mental health and mental illness. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. Now, before I get started, uh, just quick announcement. We have a Discord server, and we have like over 300 people in there if you need support if you're struggling with an eating disorder anxiety depression PTSD addiction whatever it is join our discord server there are so many people there who are there to help and support you I'm in there Tristan's in there a ton of rewired soldiers are in there so please come join our discord server all right but anyways yeah this is a follow-up to my Eugenia Cooney video I made about a week ago I was just going to do like a one and done Eugenia Cooney video a lot of people have requested it and I'm like I'm gonna put it out there put my thoughts um, try to help some people increase awareness and then reading the comments and getting like DMs and stuff I'm I'm like, oh my God, because if me, if me, a mental health YouTuber, someone trying to increase awareness did not know about what was going on, like how many other people don't know about what's going on, right? Or how many other people are using Eugenia Cooney to encourage their unhealthy behaviors? And like, if you guys wanna play a fun game with me, Right after you leave your comment or right after you watch this video, see how many comments down below are saying to leave Eugenia Cooney alone or not talk about Eugenia Cooney. Because here's the thing, I just checked her last five videos and combined from her last five videos, she has over half a million views. So do not get it twisted. This video is not for Eugenia Cooney. This video is for everybody who is watching her videos as well as people who are not aware of her videos and what's going on in the minds of people who are struggling with eating disorders, okay? And like, I really, I really try not to be like extra about this stuff, but the reality is, is that I'm a parent and I can make a ton of videos about this. Like, at the end of the day, I think it's important that parents know what their kids are watching. Like, my son pretty much only watches YouTube and I'm constantly checking in, seeing which YouTubers he's watching. Sometimes I watch some videos with him and stuff like that. But like, seeing the amount of young people who are watching Eugenia Cooney, like I'm sitting there, I'm like, do their parents know, right? Do their, are, are their parents seeing this? Because I'm about to read some comments that are very disturbing and this is why we need to keep bringing awareness to these types of subjects. When I was younger and I watched Eugenia Cooney, I remember thinking, why can't my body be like that? I was very insecure and I was even skipping meals, but thankfully, because I have a good support system at home, i grown up being more confident in my body. When I was a young, angsty teen, I remember watching her videos and hating how I looked because I wanted to be that cool, edgy, skinny scene kid. I wondered what was wrong with me and why I wasn't as small. I hope she gets the help that she needs. Her condition is very sad and so is all the young people on her video sending her compliments about her weight and looking up to her while she makes uh, very body revealing videos, might I add. Like you guys, this is why we need to talk about it. This is why we need to talk about it, okay? Like first and foremost, if you are in recovery from your eating disorder, that is awesome, congratulations. I, I, there are so many stories that have been in the comments of people who have overcome this thing. And by the way, that's why I want you to join the Discord server too. Like, we need people who have recovered or are in recovery to help support the people who are struggling and need help too. But like, you guys, like, we have to talk about this stuff. Like, I know you all have your own opinions about like, oh, don't give it attention and da 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 da, da right? Like, here's the thing. Like, there's this misconception that if we don't talk about mental illness, it's just gonna magically go away, right? Like, they think like, okay, don't talk about depression, don't talk about suicide, don't talk about drugs, don't talk about these things, and they'll just magically go away. 
Like, y'all are living in a fantasy world if you think that's what's going on. If things like this are happening, we need to be aware. Like, there are young women who are saying that they sat there and idolized Eugenia Cooney, saying, why can't my body look like that? Now, again, this video isn't for Eugenia Cooney. I hope the best for her, I hope she gets help, but my videos are not for her, they are for all of you. So, do you have friends? Do you have children? Do you have family members who are idolizing these people, right? Like. I, I talk about it in my videos a lot. Sometimes when I'm talking about YouTubers, like we think we need certain things to be happy. And some of it is our body image, right? Some of us think we need to be a certain weight, a certain size, and all these other things. I've made some videos about body positivity, body positivity in the past, but like something that I know, even though I've lost like over 50 pounds in the last year, I know, I know that only only losing the weight is not going to make me happy. But especially when we're talking about disordered eating, like it's important that we realize that it's unhealthy too, okay? So there's an entire sector of people, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit later in this video, who are very for, you know, they're, they're pro um, eating disorders. And this is very, very dangerous and more people need to know about this. So now we're gonna talk about triggers and avoiding triggers. I've mentioned this before, but like eating disorders and addiction are very, very closely tied together. Science has proven that both um, people who struggle with these different disorders, whether it's addiction or eating disorders, it affects the brain in a similar way. So we're gonna be talking about triggers and avoiding triggers real quick. So this, uh, this comment says, uh, someone like you discussing this is desperately needed. Thank you more than you know. I've been in recovery of ED for years and even just before sitting down to watch this video, I wanted to get a, stack, a snack. When, went to the fridge, saw the yogurt I love, and then thought about what I ate yesterday and went to sit back down. I had to literally remind myself my tools I have and told myself, eat that yogurt, today you need to eat too. That's how much Eugenia Cooney can still trigger me. I'll be honest, she triggers me and I've been recovered from my eating disorder for a while now. It's so sad to see her avoiding it all. I can't imagine being a younger, more impressionable fan of hers. Even as an adult who has been recovered for nearly 10 years, I see her and feel self-conscious. Thank you for this video. Like, this is real stuff. This is a struggle. Like, you guys, I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic who lives in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am surrounded by drugs and alcohol. And a huge part of recovery, and recovery is different for everybody, but we need to know when we need to avoid triggers, right? And I know it can be rough for some of you, but like also, being present for triggers also helps build resiliency. So I feel that living in Las Vegas has made me stronger in my recovery because I'm surrounded by it and every single day I know that if I stayed sober one more day in Las Vegas, like I'm a badass, right? But I still get triggered. Like every time I walk into a grocery store, like the grocery store I go to, like the pharmacy is right there. And I'm my drug of choice was prescription meds. Every time I walk past, I'm like, ooh, I wonder how many oxys they got back there, right? That little thought comes to my mind. But kind of like that first comment said, like I'm very mindful of these things. And I'm like, no. I'm like, Chris, that is screwed up thinking. And this is why recovery is so important. We need to catch these thoughts and realize when it's happening. But if you're somebody who is triggered by these things, like know where you're at in your own recovery. I could make an entire video on this. Know where you're at in your own recovery and know what to avoid, okay? But again, for all of you who are in recovery from your eating disorder, like please, please use that experience to help out others, whether it's in our Discord server, our Facebook group, or just down in the comments below, like encourage one another. So so something that I've been seeing comments about and getting uh, DMs about, and I never even knew this was a thing. There's like Tumblrs and Reddits that are like pro eating disorders. And I'm like, are you, what? Like, what, are you serious? So like, there needs to be some awareness about this. So last night in the Discord server, I was like, yo, I'm working on a new video. Some of you have told me that there's like, pro eating disorders like reddits and tumblers and stuff if any of you have that information can you email me some so one of my favorite subscribers she's also a patron dollface nelson informed me about a couple of uh the reddits that are out there one of them is r slash pro anna weight loss and another one is r slash pro anna mpa now listen to this listen to this description 
We're a group of people from MPA. This sub does not condone trying to get an eating disorder. Rather, this is a place for people with EDs who do not wish to recover, at least not yet. And this just hurts. It hurts my soul so much, especially coming from the addiction treatment world. Like, I get it. I get it. Like, part of what I do when I'm trying to help people is I gotta meet people where they're at, right? I know people who don't wanna recover are not going to recover, and it sucks. It sucks, but we really need to be aware about these things. We need to we need to understand when we're staying in the problem and not getting in the solution. So finally, last night, I'm not gonna mention this YouTuber's name yet because I'm still on the fence about whether or not I'm going to do a collab with this YouTuber. But they left a comment yesterday and then I went and checked out their channel. I saw there was some stuff about eating disorders. I'm like, oh, that'd be cool if we collab. But then I looked at it and I'm like, wait a second, is this like pro eating disorders? And this YouTuber and I have actually been talking through emails since last night. And she brought up an interesting point, very interesting point. Because I was asking her, I'm like, are you for it? Like, what, what's your stance? I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Because she, she said that she wonders if she's doing more harm than good. But she used the word harm reduction. And harm reduction is a word that we use a lot in addiction recovery because there's there's recovery, like there's abstinence, and then there's harm reduction. And that is such a, a, a difficult topic. It's a very difficult topic because while I do want people to recover and I want people to learn how to manage their emotions and get down to the root of the problems, get treatment or therapy or whatever it is, harm reduction is better than people dying, right? So I don't know, it's an interesting topic and um, her and I are still talking in emails. I'm trying to get her in the Discord and me and her might talk, so I might, I might, I don't know yet, but I might do a video about harm reduction for eating disorders. I've done some videos about harm reduction for addiction, so I just need to educate myself more before I talk about it on my channel because I don't wanna do anything that you know, kind of like she says, I don't want to do any more harm. Like, so one of my biggest suggestions is for all of you, again, going back to like, know where you're at in your recovery. Like, like I know in my early recovery, like it was difficult to watch shows like Intervention where they show like graphic scenes of people like drinking or using or whatever it is. Like, if you are that type of person, like you need to learn how to avoid your triggers, all right? But again, again, please, please, please join us in our Discord server or join us in our Facebook group. We also have a, a subreddit, okay? And all of it is based around talking about the problem but focusing on the solution. I've had so many of you comment say, I don't have friends, I don't have family members, I don't have people who understand. We understand, we are here for you. Come join us, get some support, okay? But anyways, that's all I got. Um, leave comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on any of the things I touched on, whether it's, you know, um, bringing awareness to this, how it influences people. Even if you struggle with another mental illness, um, something that I need to talk about eventually is there's a lot going on in the community where it's like pro self harm, which is very disturbing to me. Like, but anyways, let me know video topics and ideas and stuff down in the comments below. Uh, but real quick, exciting news for everybody over on the Patreon, over at the five dollar tier now. I just put up a brand new exclusive uh, <laughs> video, um, and yeah, there's like some cat stuff. I talked about how I wanted to shut up. But anyway, here's a quick clip. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try to give some bonding time to these kitties. So here's what I did. So Wyatt, that is like his favorite spot on the couch, right? And Maya usually lays on the floor, but I was like, you know what? Maya, I'm gonna put you right here. And Maya freaked out for a minute and she's like, no, let me up, let me up. But then she just sat there. And now they're both on the couch together. Ain't that right, Maya? So yeah, everybody signed up over on Patreon, who's at the $5 tier and above. There's a new video up over there for you, all right? So go check it out. But anyways, again, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get access to exclusive content and extra little perks, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.